Millions of identities are stolen every year from dead Americans in what officials are calling ghosting. Christy Tomashiro tonight with more on how to protect your loved one's personal information. It's tonight's Action Line Consumer. All a scammer needs is a name, address, and birth date to illegally purchase a social security number on the black market. Scammers can get a hold of the deceased person's information through social media, hospital records, and funeral homes. This scam can go on for months due to families not checking the deceased person's credit reports. You have the information out there in the public with your obituary, which usually includes the person's name, when they were born, um, sometimes the address. And really, that's all a scammer needs to buy a social security number online. Once the information gets into the wrong hands, scammers can open up credit card accounts, take out loans, and drain your loved one's money. By the time they stop paying on all this and they've racked up all this debt and they come looking for the person, they find the person is deceased. So now they've gotten away with probably millions of dollars over time that you can't get back. Freda says family members should check their loved one's credit reports a few weeks after the person's passing for any fraudulent activity. Then, a few months later, check on it again. Another way is to make sure that you notify all of the credit card companies, the bank, any social security, all of them need notification of the passing so that that information is noted in their account.